the far sideline. Melchior has the forward bump it back over to Lowe, who sends a 20-foot attempt back to the Quaker side. Freeman now firing into the back row, and it's going to shank off of Lowe in the center back. And that'll make it 6-3, and done on the right side. She gets blocked, but bumps it right back. Now to the left side. Moody flies in and gets it into the back left corner. And it looked like the Pacers were cheating up a little bit, Paulette. The Quakers are the nice rally, 14-7. Low serve for Phillips in on the right side as she was able to shank it off of a diving Chandler on the right back row, and that makes it 15 to 7. Free ball from the left side as Gina Lyons able to get it back over to the Quaker side. Freeman swings away across the court, but Lyons able to keep it alive. But the Pacers run out of real estate on that far sideline as they were going into some Maple Wood seats, as that'll make it 5 to 2. The Quakers are looking like a complete power right now. Copald still serving into the center back row. This one's going to shake off a show or another service ace for Laura Copald. Boy, the back row really struggling right now for the Pacers. Evan off right side. She gets blocked once and twice. It goes back over to the Quaker side. Copald falling, or rather, Kozar falling away on the left side. Can't get it to fall. And now Lyons trying to swing it over the left side. Second ball, and it gets blocked, but Phillips able to keep it alive. Freeman uncorking on the left side. It stopped in the center back row. Now fall away on the 10-foot line for Chandler. Kept alive in the back row. It flows up in the air. Freeman sets it back over, and the Pacers get set back. Crook, the quick pass over for Evan up in the center, and that's a key point for the Pacers as they were able to stay alive on a long point and get it in the heart of the Quakers on the court to make it 12-5. At the same time, likely playing either a 6-2 or having Griffin be the setter, and a double hit's going to be called against the Quakers as that's going to make it 3-0 Pacers. So a different setup from Kevin Daniels possibly fooling the Quakers a little bit. So 18-8 Pacers. The Pacers are roaring their way possibly to a set three victory. Moody gets, stops it up center back row. Gun fires away and able to shank it off of Melchiori. Really all by herself on an island in the center back row. So serve coming from Chandler deep in the back row. And Gun's going to sling it right into the net. And boy, momentum has changed awfully quickly as the Pacers resoundly take the third set, 16 to 25. Send it back over. Parker now sending it back to the center back row. Phillips at the 10-foot line, left side for Moody. It falls right in front of a diving low, deep in the back row. That's going to give the Quakers a 10-9 lead. It up on the right side. Flan Buck for Hawks on the left side. Freeman just flies it out, just barely. Oh man, that no was a high tough call. There's conflicting no signals from both line judges. One is saying it was tipped. The other one is saying it flew out. This place could come uncorked either way, I think. Tipped or not, I think that ball was in. Oh no, they're going to say it, fell, it did fly out. And we're going to be headed to a fifth set. Looking it to the left side, but Moody covers and... Hose are able to get it back from the back row. Now Evanoff flies in and gets it deep into the back row. And they're going to switch sides. 8-7, the Pacers on top. But line Moody flying in left side. And the back row stops it up for the Pacers. Griffin out of the left side. Melchiori bounces it off the blocks. And Melchiori, who only played in one match last year. Makes it 13 to 10. Blockers, but Low backs it up on the front row. Now Chandler sending it into the center back row. Phillips cross court pass left side. As Freeman able to send it in. Off the back row, and that's it. I have 